Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement. It becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on the truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. And boy, it's hard to find out the truth these days, man. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 27, Nasdaq, uh, where is she? Nasdaq up 26, S&P's down 11, gold contract trading down $4.80 at $17.82 an ounce. We have silver trading off uh, 37 cents, $19.99 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 69 cents, $94.59 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You have the 10-year note trading down one point plus eight ticks at 120.03. The 30-year off a full point plus 25 ticks at 142.29 and King Dollar. King Dollar's on the move top side big time here. You get King, excuse me, King Dollar's up 767 ticks, 106. 216. The euro is at 101. The yen's at 132. And the Br British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you get an oscillating market. Can't make it higher. I suspect you're going to back down a bit here. You get, take a look at the SPY. You know, Friday, bottom line, you're, come, you're coming into the June 1st swing point. June 1st swing point is 417. Friday, we made it to uh, 413. Fourth, yeah, 413. You had volume out there at 87. Yesterday, you did 69. The bottom line today, you should get 69. We'll see. If it doesn't get 69, you're going to get more of a back down. You know, I'm not expecting a disaster here, but I'm expecting some kind of a pullback. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. Same type of setup inside the NDX 100. Bottom line, you get right now, Friday, what we did is we did 57 million. Yesterday, we did 46. Now, we're going to do more than that. We're going to do like 50 million or something. So, it has a shot of 57, that really. 17 million from now, that can be done. It will see whether it can hold price. So, two different things in, inside the queues here. The price would have to hold is a bit higher than we were right now. It traded a lot higher than this, you know. But this has been, if you've been in front of a machine, folks, this has been a nice day. It's been up, down, you know, two or three times. So you have 316.39 as your benchmark. You close over 316.39 and, you know, bottom line, then, then that, that could launch. That's what it comes down to. Uh, because you're already over the 314. That's what it's, you know, that was the June 1st level. And you can see when I bring this back, this is where this is at. So let me show you this. Because that we are coming up to a supply line that is huge. You can see this thing, you know, this is, so that supply line goes all the way back to January of 2021. So we got what, almost a year and eight months. And what a supply line specifically is, folks, is this. Picture everyone that bought over this le level, right? If, the, if they held, they've been in a losing position. Well, you're coming up to that line. That's going to be a long line to take out. Let me tell you something. That's the bottom line. It's, it really is. Um, some of the higher volume equities out here today in this, in this market, and it's going to be a low volume market. You have Advanced Micro is up 240. You got uh, Uber's up 459. They're there. They, they went on all cylinders, no doubt about that. Came out with numbers this morning. NVIDIA is up uh, a buck fifty. Let me make this bigger. There we go. It's a lot bigger, huh? <laughs> um, it's a little too big. Messing with these things, man. Come on. I don't get it. Anyway, let me get a different screen here. One second. Sorry about this, folks. For some reason, I got the print is huge. Now the print is small. What is going on? Nope. Phew. Doing something wrong, yeah. <laughs> okay, one second. 
I'm getting a different screen. That's what I'm doing. That'll start it. Let's get a different screen up here. There we go. Okay. So uh, let's get into the, let's go take a, take a look at the gold market. Um, oh, no, no. We're going to bonds first because the bond market, this is something else, man. This is, you get bonds, they're in a confirmed ABC structure up. So let me see what this is doing here. So you've done 1.7 million, which is a lot of, but you went to a higher high and gave it up on price. Well, we'll see what happens. That's gonna means that we're gonna turn into a a complex ABC because we took out see we took out the one twenty sixteen with volume, which is saying the one twenty four. We hit one twenty two, and then this thing just sold off. Yeah, this has been selling off all day. So this starts selling off. Yeah, it uh, bottom line eight o'clock, eight thirty this morning. Uh, just sold right down, so right down to the strength. Uh, we go to the gold market. We take a look at the gold market out here. Jeez. Okay, so inside the gold market, we reached. I got to get these. These, I'll get these charts straight, folks, at the break, because this is brutal. <laughs> okay, so we got up to 805. You get 161,000 contracts. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's going to bust through this, but it's, it's going to take a bit. It's going to take a bit to bust through the 1808. That's, that's how ICE is set up there at 1808. But this is coming in with good volume in order to baby uh, to get that baby uh, busted. So um, it's intriguing that it's actually holding up at all with uh, with the dollar. The, the run the dollar is taken right now. Uh, Dow Dow Industrials right now trading down uh, 300. Day. Well, uh, let's go into the Dow quick before that break and see what's whacking the Dow because the Dow is getting whacked, no doubt. So uh, you get Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Oh, well, here let's do the points on it. So point-wise, you have, uh, yeah, Caterpillar's putting... Caterpillar's putting a negative 69 points. You got uh, Visa, 33, Boeing, 31. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.